one person, one lady and one gentleman. First volunteer he stops. A lady and a gentleman. Walk to me. Good. Start with your name, the program, where you came from, and where you're here. Thank you so much, Professor. This is a very beautiful chance for me to speak. <laughs> Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Charikola Florence Kanyesu. I have been a student of Bachelor's of Arts and Social Sciences, majoring in psychology. I am coming from Barara district, and I am here to, to get ready for work. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Joshua Kampurira. Uh, I've been pursuing Bachelor's of Records and Archives Management at ECD's courses, Macquarie University. Uh, I came from Kasese District, to be specific, uh, Katwe Kawato Town Council, where there is Katwe, the Salt Lake. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm here specifically uh, for the opportunity being, being given by Massacred Foundation Scholars Program at Macquarie to learn and get ready for the world of work. Thank you so much. Lovely. Now I know why many of us are here today. Having listened, hey, first come back my friend from Kasese. Is it Kasese or Katwe? <laughs> Can you share this with the fellow gentlemen in the room? Every gentleman gets that color. Don't give the ladies. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, when I came in this morning, I did sleep here like you, but I was in this room by eight. And there was absolutely nobody. And I'm not blaming you because it was time for breakfast. But the reason I came in early was to see how we are walking in into this room. And 90% of the ladies walked in like they are coming to office. How? A little bag and my phone in the hands, period. A little bag and my phone in the hands. Am I lying, the ladies? No. 90% no? of the gentlemen walked in with some kind of heavy bags. I assume there are laptops in there. The gentleman, am I lying? I see a few gentlemen walking in. That's where we are starting from. Are we really ready for this week? Do we know why we came for this week? I'm not sure whether we are ready, but that doesn't matter. We are here to support you to be ready for this week. Hope everybody has got a sticky note. Having listened to John and having listened to Madame Jolie, I'll give you two minutes. Close your eyes and just write one expectation from this week. Only one capital letters, write it out neatly. Only one expectation. The one thing that if you had an open check from God, you will take away. Just one. Please write it out. Walk to the wall and stick it immediately. We have only two minutes. Write it out, walk to the wall, and stick it out. No need for name, no need for sex, no need for nothing. One expectation. Why are you here? What do you want to take away by Saturday? Stick it to the wall. Let me have a few clusters. A cluster there and a cluster here. Feel free to put whatever you want. Let's move quick. What you've asked for is what you're likely to take away. So be careful. <laughs> if you ask for good sleep, that's what you'll take away. If you ask for a boyfriend, that's what you'll take away. But that's okay. Is it wrong to get a boyfriend? No. You've graduated. If you don't have one, I'm going to get worried. <laughs> the clock is ticking. I'm in there to go. 
Stick out your one expectation from this one week. All right, at the count of 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Time down. You will not have a chance to review those papers. So if you don't know what you wrote. I'm sorry. You have a notebook before you. If you have your personal, put it out. If you have one for the hotel, stick your name on top if you really own that notebook. If you have your personal notebook, just note the date. If you're going to use the hotel notebook, write your name in bold without fear or favor on top of that notebook. In capital letters, so that if we find it lost, we shall pick it and bring it to you. <laughs> I want to see the names of all those notebooks. Is that done? Good. Now let's start the workshop. On the first page, having written your dates, write the three expectations. You gave me your number one priority. Now, we usually don't get what we want in life. We may get the alternative. Can you rank them in the order of three? The three things that if you got one of them, after this one week, you'll be grateful to your creator. Take your time. I'll give you up to three minutes. Rank them in the order of importance to your life. That if you walked out of this room by Saturday and God granted you one of them, you will forever be grateful. In the Bible, if you read the Bible, the Quran, they say, when you're asking, ask precisely. What is it that you want to take away from this one week's engagement? Thank you very much. Now, whatever you've written down is coming from you. You, the Aisha, you, the James, you, the Peter, you, the Rose, whoever you are. It's been an individual quick thought. And usually, you've heard of the, I don't know whether you guys were born, but at least you've heard of the song called The First Cut is the Deepest. So whatever you've written, most likely is what your spirit is communicating. And if you believe that it's coming from you, you didn't copy from your neighbor, that is what you're going to reflect on. For us as PIT, our role is to facilitate what you have written. You're about a hundred, we expect today. We're not able to read every single card, but our role is to work with partners to make those expectations. What is your role? Your role is to sit here for one week, tap into all the available opportunities, the resources, the speakers, the networking to realize those dreams. God will not come from heaven and make that happen for you or Allah. But through your works, through your commitment, through your interest, you shall realize what you've written. Don't walk out here and after four months you say, everything I asked you, God, you never gave to me. God in his silent voice will ask you, what did you do? When it's free time to do something constructive, you're doing other things, you spend your week here, living without even knowing the number, name, and office location of the facilitator. 
Then don't blame God or don't blame Allah. What am I communicating? You're here on your own merit. It was an open registration and you chose to register, isn't it? It was not automatic. So you chose to be here. If you chose to be here, be here 100%. Number two. As a scholars program, we have four pillars. And you've gone through four, or let me say three and a half. The first pillar is to recruit you, which we did many years ago. You've walked a journey and go to the second pillar, which is educate. So you, we recruited you, you joined the university, all support was extended to make sure that you educated. Our role was to facilitate. Your lecturers were supposed to give you the technical knowledge. During that pillar of educate, we offer the pillar of prepare. So all the other support you received, leadership training, entrepreneurship, psychosocial, family day, give back ethos, was to prepare you for the world of work. That is pillar number three. And I can confidently say that as a program team, we delivered on that. The fourth is transition. Transition is when they read your name in the Freedom Square. And what we do the week after graduation is to move your name from the profile of scholars to profile of alumni. At that moment, you have transitioned. So right now, right here, we are completing the journey of initiating transition. Then we will walk with you a journey until when you feel you're free to fly. So we are here to kick off transition. In this transition is what Madame Jody has explained. We do whatever we do to kick you off. Yes, Hold on, Timothy, could you please put them on the first table? Thank you. So, please, ladies and gentlemen, we are not here to extend jobs to you, no. We are also just employed in Makere. PSF is not here to extend jobs to you, neither the Federation nor Inspiration Hub. We are here to facilitate. So you must have come here with an expectation. I'm waiting to read what you've written up there. I hope your expectation, one of them is to smoothen my journey, to open up opportunities, to show me where to go. Under the scholars program, by now you are aware, we cherish three pathways. One, form employment. Whether you end up in the public sector or private sector, as long as you're formally employed, meaning every 28th of the month, we expect a salary of whatever magnitude. That is formal employment. The second pathway is entrepreneurship, meaning business-oriented. That's where you spend your time. You may be the owner of the business, or you may be employed to participate in a business. And then the third, which is an intermediary is further education. Further education is intermediary because when you do your next level of education, we expect you to move somewhere in either one or two. In our engagements this week, we are going to be intentional to make sure that we touch the three. It's the reason Madame Jolie presented to you the three players. Each of them has a wing to play as we transition to the world of work. What is going to make you different in this one week moving forward? One, timekeeping. The world of work you're joining has some commands. As many speakers will talk about, but I can't leave this place without talking about it. It was very eminent this morning. The reason we are staying here is to move as a group. Let's observe time. 
If we say we are starting at 8.30, it doesn't mean walking in. It means kicking off. So why don't you start walking in by 8? Greet your friends you didn't share a room with, and then by 8.20 we are kicking off. Number two, discipline. Number one discipline is phone discipline. How you manage yourself with that telephone will have a lot to tell about who you are. I would expect by now all our phones are in silence. Are they? In silence. And for me, when I'm very serious in a session, I don't switch off my phone. I don't leave it in vibrate. I make it face upside down if I don't have my bag with me. You only sit it for about two hours and then you have free time. Can't you really hold it? But if you have an emergency, you have a sick mom, a sick dad, a sick cousin, keep it close to you. When they call, please step out and take that call. Number three, respect for self and others. Respect for self goes all the way in the way we dress, the way we talk, the language we are going to use, how we manage ourselves while we are here. When you are out for extracurricular, you're in the swimming pool, you're in the gym, how do you carry yourself is really, really critical. And you respect others. In the last summer camp, there was one thing that we all hated, and that is people coming to the dining room, carrying our food to the room, eat, and put the plates on the door. Yes. Let this not happen this time. It's called a dining room. That's where we go to dine. If you choose to eat from your room, can you be cautious enough to either put it in the sink or return it to the dining room? You could walk in the corridor and find plates by the door. Every room has a sink. What is so difficult? So that's the part of display. You may choose not to eat in the dining room and choose to eat in your room. That's perfect, but how do you manage yourself after eating in the room? Number five, self-learning. You want to take away anything from this week? Enroll for self-learning. What does self-learning mean? For everything you have heard today, what more can you research about? At the end of the day, if the session was about mindset change, can you spare some 30 minutes this evening? You have free internet here. And read more about self-life, rather uh, mindset change. Lifelong learning is what will set you apart from the other people here. We are in this room today about 100, and there are thousands of you out there looking for the jobs. The same jobs you're looking for. Ask yourself, what will make me different? What will set me apart? For every speaker, for every facilitator, pick an action for yourself. If a speaker comes here and talks about time management and self-discipline, tell yourself, me just what am I committing to? Write it in that book and live by it. That is what's going to make you different moving forward. Finally, I remember Madame Dole talking about a notebook. I would encourage you when you leave this place, each of you, if you don't have one, at least buy yourself the size of a notebook. Because it can fit in any bag. Never, ever walk to somebody's place, office, anywhere. You're meeting somebody for coffee. They're inviting you for coffee. You go for coffee, and you just hold your handbag and the phone and place it on the table. If I invited you for coffee, and that's how you present yourself, I'll cut my time to less than a half with you. And that's what everybody out there with serious will do. Always carry a pocket notebook with you. Wherever you go, even if they invited you for as long as you have an opportunity of a business talk, put it out and put it on the table with a pen. The person will not deal with the serious individual here. But us carry my little bag and my phone? No. Those are seemingly small things that are going to set you apart. So ladies and gentlemen, 
While we are here, my final words to you. Keep your eyes closed on those three things you have indicated. When we are here on Saturday, we shall have an individual reflection of how far you feel you're getting there. In the event that you need some support from us to help you move to that step, we are all here. We shall be rotating. You'll be seeing different of us coming in and going out. At any opportune moment, speak to one of us. We are here to support you. You have your mentors. Let's walk this journey, and you cannot walk it alone. I want to wish you the very best during this time. Please make very good time of all the facilitators that will be here. Find time to network. Find time to relax. And have fun. Okay? It's not, a, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not an academic environment. So if it's free time, enjoy your free time. And finally, enjoy responsibly. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, I want to officially open this workshop and hoping that by Saturday, we shall be having more optimistic and enthusiastic faces, smiling faces, ready to go for the world of work. God bless you.